hey guys welcome to a new vlog so today i have been just like super stressed with like moving companies because that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hire a moving company how else is my stuff gonna get there um a u-haul would have to be driven by someone and i i don't know anyone who wants to drive a u-haul um so we're not gonna be doing that so i think it's just easier to do like a moving company and it's so weird because some moving companies like pack your stuff for you and i'm like no nobody is touching my stuff like even feline tries to help me and i'm like no i i just have like some weird thing about like i need my stuff packed like my way it might be a control thing it might be part of that ocpd you know what i'm saying which before anyone gets offended i was diagnosed with that i had a whole video on it like literally the day it happened because i was kind of shocked so yeah it's hard to find a moving company i've called a few places to get like quotes and like how long it would take to get my stuff there and all of that stuff oh, by the way people have noticed that i've been looking in the viewfinder it's because uh, my camera goes like out of focus a lot and i edit it out but i'm always like going up close and like clicking on it and stuff so i'm just seeing if it's out of focus or in focus or whatever so when you notice me doing that that's what that's about so yeah um <laughs> Y'all, there's been a plot, a, like an actual plot twist in my life. Like I've given a lot of updates and a lot of people have like asked like, you know, are you and Feline gonna get back together? Like, have you guys like hooked up or anything? And honestly, I have like tried my very hardest to not do that, not kiss her, not hug her, not anything. And I don't know like what happened last night, but we did hook up. Um, Ugh, I don't even know why I'm sharing this. It's just my journey of life. And I know a lot of people like question like, why do you share so much online? Because that has been my life for 10 years. I do not know how to stop. Like I literally, I, I don't, I don't. And this is just like my journey of life. And it has definitely been a crazy little plot twist. I was not expecting it and it kind of just happened. And I was expecting to wake up with like, weird regret like she was worried that i was gonna wake up with regret and then so it made me start beating into my head that i was going to and i'm very much the type of person i can't do casual sex i can't i never have um that's just not who i am so i was afraid that like weird feelings were gonna get involved but it's so weird i woke up with no regret i woke up with no weird feelings like at all i don't know why it happened or how it happened but it, it just happened it literally just happened and um i don't know we're not getting back together i know a lot of people think that assume that they say that we flirt on camera i think that we just have that like we i was gonna say weird <laughs> i mean it is kind of weird because we're not together anymore we do have that like connection i don't know what to say but we just know that we cannot be together we we can't like even just through this like moving journey it's just been so stressful and like we just I don't know there's been a little bit of bumping heads for sure but um yeah it's i don't know that's just a little update on on that um so and i've taken some paper and i've taken a pen and i'm like creating a timeline for like okay so this is the day i have to arrive at my apartment so when do i leave this apartment when do i turn in the keys and then this and that like there's so many little like tiny odds and ends it's so many i's a dot and t's across and it's just been stressing me out like so much and we're slowly figuring it out we're slowly figuring it out i'm i don't know Ugh, i'm so stressed if anyone i don't know if you guys just saw a gnat did you guys see that gnat i don't know if you guys did but there was a gnat crawling right in front of me or a fruit fly as some people call it but if any of you know of any good like moving companies or whatever it may be please let me know because oh I just saw the gnat again because your girl needs help i have gotten quotes from a few places um and i don't know there's one that i have in mind that probably makes the most sense and it has the best reviews but i'm just curious so message me on instagram y'all um and let me know moving companies that are long distance and that you recommend thank you hey guys so it is the next day i have not vlogged all day today so my bad i've been kind of sucking on the vlogging area the last few days but i just want to say i'm kind of excited i'm actually about to get ready for bed by the way i'm kind of excited because because tomorrow i have a virtual tour with the apartment that i am going to be moving in no i have not done that yet i know i'm doing things a little bit out of order i just have high hopes for this place so that is what is happening tomorrow and i'm really excited for that i will say i am a little anxious because we all know sometimes photos 
don't do the place justice but yeah the virtual tour is tomorrow and i will definitely let you guys know how it goes in this vlog and i also found out today that i might be allergic to crab yeah i had some crab today and i noticed every single time i have real crab my nose itches so bad like when i have sushi it's always imitation crab never have an issue but anytime i have real crab i itch really bad and like i never put two and two together i always blamed it like on the seasoning but like the seasoning is never spicy like there's never a reason to like make me itch so i just thought that's like the craziest thing so that actually yeah that happened like we're really close i'm sorry but i don't know if you guys can see like my nose is like super red right here because i was itching like a mad woman i was going like oh my nose kind of hurts i'm not gonna lie like it was itching so bad and i heard that a lot of adults start to actually have allergic reactions to shellfish when they're an adult so hi i'm an adult i've never had this issue but then again when i think back i've never really had like real crab it's been like just this year where i've been eating like real crab and i've experienced it every time I never really thought about it and then i just noticed today that it was like worse than ever and i was like okay we need to see what the hell this is so i don't know my friend told me that's what it could be google told me that's what it could be it's definitely adding up for me if you eat something it makes you itch you might be allergic. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow after the virtual tour. So I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup and Flynn goes, how about you tell them? <laughs> what are you shy all of a sudden? I, what you mean? Trump thing was funny. Oh, that I'm making it my phone background? His mugshot? So it gets released today, the mugshot? He's, uh, he says he's surrendering at 7.30 today. Yeah, she said that Trump's mugshot is going to be her wallpaper on her phone. The background. What do you guys think of that? Oh my god, I cannot. But hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Well, actually, no, this is not a new vlog. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to a new day, folks. So, you know what? We're stepping outside of the box today. We're not going to wear hoops. I'm going to wear these guys. It's like a little face. And it's layered. There's like... A black part and a gold part so i figured let me take these out i know i always have them in my ear but whenever i'm vlogging or whenever i'm talking to someone um they're never like no one's in my ear talking to me so don't worry today is my um rare dudes. hi she's right here being cute today is my virtual tour so i'm excited for that and i told you guys i would let you know how that goes so i'm going to still do that i just finished my makeup I'm just getting ready for the day and my virtual tour is not for another hour and a half so um i have some time to just like oh there she is hi why do you always want the attention oh she loves being brushed yeah i brush wasabi once a day he doesn't mind it but rarity is like a few times a day type style because she kind of like loves it and begs for it yeah oh my god you're showing your butt to them wow but yeah she loves this so much it feels so good outside it's kind of hot i'm a little a little hot i'm not gonna lie but i've seen hotter days i have felt hotter days so yeah it kind of feels good plus i also think it's because i'm wearing something like thinner than usual a lot of like the clothes i wear is like kind of on the thicker side come on twink she was just standing there sniffing the air. But, um, yeah, it feels good. Twinkie and I do this walk three times a day. And I've noticed it drastically helps with my stamina. She thinks she owns these streets. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Y'all, Feline's dreams have just been, like, made true. Why am I laughing so hard? I'm sorry if you like Donald Trump. My heart is with you. <laughs> this is this is gonna be her. This is gonna be her wallpaper. She's also gonna get a poster of it. <laughs> he looks so cute. I love that for him. What a cute little mug shot. Aww. Rarity, do you like that? 
Ready? Right here. That's Donald Trump. Ready? Ready? Right here? That's Donald Trump right there? Oh, <laughs> she said nope. Okay, you guys. So I want to give a little update on the virtual apartment tour. So I want to say that the apartment looks different than the photos, which is actually not a bad thing. Normally, it, I feel like it would be a bad thing, but in my opinion, I feel like it looked even better during the tour. So I'm very happy about that. I am happy about my choice. I... I don't know. Somehow I managed to always make it happen. This is not the first time. This is not my first rodeo of finding an apartment. Obviously, I've lived a few places before, but something about this time, like knowing that I'm going to be traveling kind of far, is I think is what made me more anxious, to be honest. So yeah, that went really good. And I also, random, uh, this is completely off topic, but that's fine. That's me. I like to jump all over the place is I asked you guys on a community post If you guys want me to do my daily weigh-ins once a week Just like a one time a one video moment or if you guys want to see them throughout the week Because honestly, I want to tell you guys throughout the week because i'm just like So proud of myself and honestly before I look at the results I do want to clarify one thing that I have heard around the rumor meal here some people are saying that i'm taking like diuretics or I'm taking a medicine. No, no, I'm actually actively not on any medicine at all, not even for my mental health. Um, we could talk about that some other time. And honestly, I haven't felt better. I have not felt better. Medicine definitely messes with your brain. And I was on medicine for bipolar for like six years. And I was getting like accustomed to feeling a certain way and now that I've been off of it for it's been almost two months now I feel so much better and I've also stopped taking medicine for my anxiety because I haven't really had any like I said we could talk about that some other time but long story short I have not felt such clear-headed in a very long time but no I am not taking any medicine and it just makes me so sad that like people would automatically like jump there and assume that just because like I'm on track and I am losing weight, but I guess it makes sense as well. And it partially is my fault because I'm never on track and I'm never losing weight. Like, and it's like finally that I am and I don't want to like share what I'm doing. I guess I can understand why people would be like, well, is she taking a diuretic? Like, what is she doing? So I guess I, I understand that to an extent, partially my fault, but no, I am not taking any medicine at all. This is all strictly me. So anyways, um, according to the results so far, we have over 2000 votes and 63% wants updates throughout the week in vlogs. So lucky for you guys, I have some weigh-in updates. So just a little reminder, I do want to put my weigh-in for the 14th right here. 543.0 pounds. And then I'm going to put my weigh-in from Monday. So Monday was the 21st, so I'm going to put that right here. 528 Pounds. So I lost over 14 pounds that week and I want to show you my weigh-in for Wednesday, which was yesterday, the 23rd. So I'm going to put that here. Hey guys, so I'm about to weigh in. Today is August 23rd. Pretty sure it's Wednesday. So let's do it. Hello, it's ready. 527.4 pounds. 527.4 so we're slowly moving in the right direction so today is actually thursday the 24th and i did weigh in so let me put that here y'all i'm about to weigh myself it's literally the middle of the day but i have on like jewelry i don't want to take off my bra but who cares let's do this weigh in so it's august 24th by the way i just wanted to check in so let's do it hello it's ready. 524.8 pounds. 524.8? <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's a big drop from last time. Okay. So that means in 10 days, I'm down over 18 pounds. Yeah, that's absolutely unbelievable. I feel so much better. Just simple tasks like walking Twinkie, just like, you know, packing, cleaning, like things just seem easier and it's only 18 pounds. And I know it's a lot of water weight, but I think we're kind of moving into the fat area. 
so I don't know I feel better I feel lighter on my feet and I just want to keep going and I am coming closer and closer to telling you guys what I'm doing I know a lot of people are not gonna agree with it but I'm no doctor I'm no nutritionist you guys know that so don't take my advice don't follow what I'm doing nothing like that so when the time does come there will be lots of disclaimers do not copy me but it's just what is making me feel the best right now physically mentally just everything so yeah I had to give the update I'm just like so proud okay you guys it's the end of the night I want to finish this video get it edited and I will see you in my next one bye